I have feelings. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome to a review slash spoiler discussion slash whatever you want to call it. We're going to do a deeper dive into the Bird Box movie and the book. So right up front, if you're worried about spoilers for either one, because I'm going to be talking about what I liked and didn't like about both ones. This isn't book versus movie because I don't remember the book all that much. All I have to go on is my review of it that is from 2014. Um, but I, all I remember about the book is what I didn't like. So if you are worried about spoilers, please click away now. So I'm going to jump right into it. One of the main problems I had with the book was the main character, Mallory. Completely one-dimensional is a very lazy author tactic. Um, especially for a male author, if you want to make your female characters, uh, if you want to make people care about your female characters, you make them pregnant. Um, that's the easiest way to do it because nobody wants to see a pregnant woman, anything bad happen to a pregnant woman. Either that or make it either single mother or that kind of thing. It's a very overused tactic by especially male authors. And I had a problem with that. Um, when I first had my review up, I caught a lot of flack because um, the strong woman ideal... Um, I even got, uh, I got threats, for death threats, I got threats of doxing. Since then, I have moved from the last address. It was somebody who had bought a book from me, I shipped to them. Um, I put my actual address on the package and they threatened to tell everybody about it if I didn't get rid of the review. So I got rid of the review. I buckled. I won't do it again. Mistakes were made. Um, but as far as now, I have the link to the review. I guess they didn't even know it was up. I forgot it was up, but it's on Book Life. So if you want proof that they literally changed everything that I bitched about in the book to suit the movie, which is a little bit of validation, if you would like to actually read that, I will link it down there in the comments below. Uh, next up, another huge problem... I had with the book is you of course you never see the monsters but on top I don't I don't mind that like I say in the review I can dig leaving the monster to the imagination of the reader what I can't dig is not having anything whatsoever to go off of this movie completely fixed that there are scenes with the leaves coming up the shadows the noises the the my probably one of my favorite scenes and it's very early on is when Charles is explaining a possibility that these things might be demons that show you your fear, your sadness, whatever. That is a terrific scene and that's all I really wanted from the book. If there was a scene like that in the book then I completely missed it. Um, I don't think there is but because I, all, I remember throughout the entire book I'm like why doesn't anybody say something about what are these things why don't they even just go into some kind of speculation? Um, next thing, uh, the kids with the names, of course, they did not change the name aspect. But one of my aggravations with that is if even calling the children boy and girl, you're calling those children by a name. Even if it is boy or girl, it's kind of like I say, if, if you're going to cuss and you change fucking to freaking you're still cussing because the intention is there. You know, if you call the child boy and girl, you know, and it's really obvious early on, even in the in the movie, who whose child is who. I had a huge problem with the fact that this one person, and not just because she's a woman, but this one person was able to survive for four and a half years with two children from infancy, in and never did they describe how she did it. Not once about farming or anything, which they put in the movie. Not once did they mention that she had any help. Tom survives longer in the movie. Um, not once do they tell you how she managed to keep a blindfold on two toddlers by herself. Obviously, uh, actually, I'm actually just guessing here, but I'm going to go ahead and guess that Josh Mailerman has no children. Because keeping a blindfold on one toddler would be bad enough. I'm not too worried about the infant part, but a toddler? <laughs> keeping a blindfold on the toddler would be relatively impossible. But two of them? That's just nuts. I mean, there is so many things wrong with that. Um, next up, I have Gary in the basement problem. If you read my review, I don't remember anything of this other than Gary ends up hiding in the basement. 
And I think they got rid of the Don character completely. But Gary's in the movie. Um, one guy sneaks the other guy into the basement, and then some shenanigans happen at the end. Um, but they got completely rid of Don, I, I believe, and they ch uh, replaced him with Douglas. There might have been a Douglas in the book. John Malkovich really, truly nailed that role. I love that character. I also love Sandra Bullock's character for the reason why I talk about the reason what I talk about at the beginning of this video. She added heart and emotion and she made me love the character of Mally, Mal Mallory. She was so there was so much feeling there and all of that was missing from the book in the book. In this one, Tom is more of a love interest. He survives. I love Tom. Tom's my favorite. Tom was actually my favorite character in the book. He's the only one who felt like a real person, while all the rest of the characters felt like caricatures. You know, you have this person. Basically, it's like he was checking off boxes. Like I need this type of person, this type of person, this type of person. They did keep, and I didn't go into too to too much detail on this, but they did keep the fact that the the odd coincidence of having two women pregnant at the exact same time, going into labor at the exact same time, like they syncing up periods, I'm not sure if that really works. What happens, I was talking to Shell about it, she hadn't heard anything about it, I could probably ask some other women, I, I don't know, I could probably even ask an OBGYN friend of mine. It just seemed rather odd um, to have that double problem. I guess it's so at the end she can have the war back and forth and which child she loves more, hers or the other one, I have no idea. Which brings me to the ending of the book. There is an absolutely ridiculous scene at the end of the book where uh, Olivia, I guess it is, um, the, the second pregnant woman, gets jumps out of a window after seeing the creatures, and she... <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh, I, ha I have a moment every time I think about this. I was chuckling. I told Shell, and Shell just looked at me like, What? What? Uh, the woman swinging from a window that she just ju jumped out of by her umbilical cord. You can't, I mean, it's in the book, y'all. Um, and I guess he was trying to make it super creepy because you could like hear her sliding against the wall or something like that, but I was laughing the entire time. And to have a book so literary and so stark um, and then throw in this goofy ass, like, it's almost like a scene out of like a Friday the 13th movie. To throw that in there at the end just completely killed all of the tension for me. Um, <laughs> but that's everything. But I really want to kind of it, it, I, don't, I would kind of roll around in the validation here. Every single problem that I had with with the with the book was fixed in the movie. Um, I caught so much shit, so much shit early on when I did this review because I was just a hater. Um, I was looking too far into it. I was this. I was a misogynist. I was sexist. I was all this stuff. All of that was ridiculous as well, and then the the, do, do, the threats of doxing and death threats and all this crap that popped up. Um, and it's some lady named Melody, something like that, I don't know. But anyways, um, I've long since blocked her. Um, but to see all of that stuff changed in the movie, and to see it work really, really well, is just a little bit of validation. Am I tooting my own horn? Hell yeah I am, because I caught so much shit over that only to turn around and find out that they fixed every single problem I had with it in the movie. So, how do you feel about Bird Box? Please comment down below. Um, please tell me why you liked it. Um, <laughs> that's the one thing. I, I look at this book and I don't understand. Um, I would love to talk to people who would actually want to talk about why the book was good considering all the stuff I just talked about. Same thing with, like, a. Uh, Paul Tremblay's Head Full of Ghosts. Do you like that one? It's just a reboot of The Exorcist. There's so much horror out there coming out right now that I don't understand the popularity of. Um, it just seems like it's very basic, low-level stuff, but it gets a lot of praise. So am I just on the outside? Am I on the outside? What is it? Let's, let's talk about this down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been a movie review kind of rambling video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.